So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hey everybody, this is Clint Louie coming to us with 5 Minutes from Friendship. I can't see very well, and the reason is, is because I need to put my glasses on. But when I view the world without these lenses, things are a little more blurry. But when I put on the correct lenses, things clear up, and I can see things a lot better. Well, did you know that what we must have, and especially what we must teach our children, is to have a Bible, a biblical world view? A biblical world view. Now, what exactly is a world view? Well, a world view is like the lenses through which you see life. The lenses by which you make decisions, your morals, your, your understanding, uh, choices we make, how we view society, what we want for our culture, what we want for our country, what we want in the church, what we want for our family. Um, what is right, what is wrong, and on and on and on the list goes. And what we must have is a biblical worldview. In other words, seeing life through the lenses of Scripture, going back to the Bible as our final authority, yielding ourselves to the Word of God. Now, I've got here in my hand a list of questions, and these questions come from Dr. Ken Ham of Answers in Genesis Ministries, answersingenesis.org, one word, answersingenesis.org, and you can look up the ministry there. But Dr. Ham asks these questions. Listen carefully. Can your child, your student, or your church family answer the following questions? Number one, why am I here? Number two, who is God? Number three, who is Jesus and why is he the only way of salvation? Number four, why the Bible and not other religious books? Number five, why should the Bible be the authority in my life when making decisions and moral choices? Number six, why set boundaries on sexuality and marriage? Number seven, if we are descendants of one man and one woman, where did all the different races come from? Number eight, how does one determine the value of human life? Number nine, what about dinosaurs and the Bible? Number 10, what is wrong with the world, such as things like suffering and death, when God supposedly made everything perfect? Number 11, how can what is wrong in the world be made right? Number 12, does science disprove or confirm the history in the Bible? Number 13, why does the age of the earth really matter to me and my life today? Number 14, why is it important that I believe in a literal six-day, 24-hour creation? In other words, six 24-hour day creation. And number 15, did we evolve from ape-like creatures? And anyway, the point is, can your children, your family, your church family, can we answer those questions from the Word of God? Well, if we have a biblical worldview then we can. Let me read you a verse. This is way back in the beginning. In Genesis 3, the Bible says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? The serpent attacked Eve on the authority of God's word. And I say to you that he's attacking our families on that very same issue. And our children being tempted to come up with a worldview that is not consistent with Scripture. And that's why they're being bombarded with everything such as homosexual marriage, sexual issues, transgender, as well as the socialism creeping into our day, and on and on and on it goes. But we must have a biblical worldview. We go back to the authority of the Word of God. So this is Clint Louie encouraging us, let's develop a Bible worldview.